What's up? Tony here. Um, I was going to do like an edited video for all of this, but um, just to get things rolling on my channel, I decided to just go live tonight and show you guys some pickups I have acquired um, before the whole Corona stuff uh, kicked off and actually late, late winter that I, I haven't shown off on the channel yet. Um, and I'm trying to get this done so I can actually start working on my game room and reorganizing some things. I know I've been talking about that a lot on my channel. If you guys have been following my channel for very long and, um, I want to do a game room tour. That's the purpose of that. And I want to get all this stuff cleared out, organized and, uh, just so I can have some space and I can actually start, you know, building some shelves and all that stuff. And, and this stuff I've been looking at for probably a good two weeks or so piled up on this table. Um, and it is pretty much anything and everything you can think of. I'm going to go and get started because there's a lot here. Um, I have some Dragon Ball Z toys. There's Krillin with hair. Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, is this Oob? I mean, I, I don't remember who this is. Is that Oob? I don't know. Uh, Go Tinks. Is that how you say it? And then uh, good old Piccolo. And uh, also... This I've been hanging on to for a while now. Um, I guess I have forgotten to show it off. Final Fantasy Trading Arts. It's like a little figurine and, and it's... Uh, who is this? Yuffie. It's Yuffie. Yuffie. Yeah, huge Final Fantasy 7 fan. Um, some random Sega Genesis reproduction cards. We got... Sega... No, Sonic Genesis Boom. I haven't tried it out. I need to try it out. Uh, Sonic Jester's Challenge. And then this is probably the favorite of the lot. Vector the Crocodile. Um, and I like it because it's in a clam shell. And um, it's going to look nice with my Sega Genesis stuff. So there's that. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, a few Star Wars toys. You got uh, this is the Power of the Force stuff. This is Luke with his medal. I just got done watching, literally just got done watching episode nine again. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi episode one toy. These are a dime a dozen. These toys, these episode one toys, you can find them anywhere and everywhere. Um, I have a bunch of Vic 20. I told you guys this stuff's random. Vic 20, like I have a Vic 20, but I don't have all the paperwork. But like this is like the booklets and like the how tos. There's some you know some books in here. Simulating simulations for the Vic. That must be a lot of fun to read. Not Vic revealed. So. Yeah, kind of cool to have this added to the collection. I don't intend on learning how to program with the VIC-20 anytime soon, uh, but there it is. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, this is one of those free comics. It'll go in the collection. It'll, it'll stay in the collection. I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan when it comes to comics, so yeah, I'll go in there. Uh, Nintendo Power, this is uh, the when Revenant Wings came out. On the DS, um, the, these newer ones are pretty easy to find. I uh, keep finding them for dirt cheap. Um, what's the post? I don't even know if I looked at the poster. It's, oh, Naruto! I believe it's Naruto for the poster. And uh, I would like to um, get a full set. That would be really, really hard. Um, I don't know how many I have. I need to catalog mine. Here's when Final Fantasy 4 got released on the DS. 
And I'm not a big fan of the DS release of uh, FF4. Final Fantasy 3, see a little bit of a pattern going on here. Um, so I, I try my best to pick up all the Final Fantasy stuff um, that I can when it comes to Nintendo Power and, and all that. This was a big deal. This is the reason why I bought a DS, is because of Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy 3. Um, one lone Super Nintendo game, and it is scuffed up to no end. This is the Flintstones, the Treasure of the Sierra Mod Madrock. What's up, Charlie Brown? So yeah, it's it's all scuffed up, messed up, but I'll put it in the collection. I don't know. It came from a place called Stars and Stripes. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, these are pretty funny. Um, well, we'll get to the funny ones. Uh, some DS games. Assassin's Creed. Uh, Altair's Chronicles. I picked it up for like three bucks. Why not? All right. Uh, this is uh, In Your Face, Stevie. Uh, Super Princess Peach. This has been a running gag on the channel for years and years and years. Actually, before we launched the channel, Stevie caught me slipping on this, but I have it now. It's actually a really fun game. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, Mario Golf World Tour. Um, I got a bunch of games at uh, Family Video. And, yeah, I actually got them for cheaper than the, these prices that you're going to see. Which is cool. Um, I did not pay this $9.99 for this. But it's a Ninja Turtles 3DS. I haven't played it yet. But I would like to try it because I'm a huge Turtles fan. Now, you're gonna ask my, you're gonna ask, am I crazy? And I am. Um, but I bought four copies of this for two dollars a piece. Uh, Corey in the house, best anime ever, and they're sealed. I'm probably gonna keep a couple right here sealed, and then I'll probably just, I don't know what I'll do with the other two. But yeah, here's the other one. Yeah, this originally, like, there's two price tags on here. There's a $9 one, and then there's a $2 one. I actually, I think I actually got them for a dollar piece. So, <laughs> I rang them out, and they were actually, like, a buck a piece. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, best anime ever. Ever. Hands down. All right, some more games here, and I'm trying to organize this stuff. Um, Dreamcast game. Uh, who wants to beat up a millionaire? <laughs> um, I haven't tried it yet, but it looked weird. I had to... What's up, Douglas? How you doing? Um, I had to buy this, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Um, some PS1 games. Uh, Broken Helix. Um... This looks like your average run-of-the-mill um, PlayStation game. Uh, I don't know. I'm a sucker for old PlayStation games. Uh, NCAA Final Four 2001. Ooh, boy. And then this was cool. I found this at my local thrift store. Resident Evil 2. That's good to hear, Douglas. Resident Evil 2. Uh, this is the, the Greatest Hits version. And I don't have the Greatest Hits version. Uh, so that'll stay in the collection, and it is in minty, minty, minty shape. I mean, there's not a scratch on either disc. It looks like it hasn't been played. So that's cool. Um, now, this is rocking. This is cool. I actually read these books as a kid. Uh, they were in my library at school. And it's like choose your own adventure, and uh, it's it's Super Mario, and this is when Super Mario World came out. Uh, these books are awesome. Um, I don't know if this one has been like drawn in. It has not. So that's a bonus. That's a score. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Super Show. So 
Whenever I see these for dirt cheap, I try to get them. And then some Goosebumps. Uh, R.L. Stein Goosebumps. My hairiest adventure. Uh, and it's it's not in the best of shape, but hey, oh well. And then Welcome to Camp Nightmare. I think this is uh, when they came out later. They were re-released with new artwork. Excuse me. So, yeah, kind of cool. I would love a full Goosebumps collection, okay? I, I know I say that about a lot of things, but, yeah, I truly, truly love Goosebumps. I'm not – I can't think of a book series that I'm more nostalgic for than Goosebumps, for crying out loud. Um, now, this is an oddity, but I've seen it before. I've been wanting it. This is a double-ended – um atari game so you got artillery duel and then chuck norris super kicks so yeah um whoever decided to do this you know kind of a cool idea i guess unique uh let's pull out some other games over here and trust me my games are organized on this table it's just a matter of me getting them getting to them uh, some NES games that I didn't have, surprisingly. So, uh, Caesar's Palace. This is not a very hard-to-find game, but nonetheless, I don't have it. And then uh, Nigel Mansell's World Championship. This is a racing game. Um, game Tech. It's racing. I don't know. Um... One, it looks like only one GameCube game, Time Splitters 2. Um, and this is a good game. Um, I think I have like this the greatest hits version. I think that's why I picked this one up. I don't I don't know. I'd have to double double check. It's hard to catalog stuff. Um, especially variants. I, I used to have a very like, laser sharp memory of my variants. I need to just, I don't know. I need to just get a, one of those apps that keeps track of your entire collection. I just need to do that. I know I have like thousands of games down here. And that's kind of why I don't want to do it. It's because I have so many freaking games. But yeah, um, we, some Wii titles. Uh, Endless Ocean. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. The Amazing Spider-Man. This was really cool. Uh, this is actually a DVD. Uh, Super Mario History. And I've watched it. Um, and there's actually some music in here. Or no, it's just a soundtrack. It's just a CD. It's like from the series, Super Mario Brothers series. Uh, Excite Bots. Monster Truck Arenas. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so attracted to Wii shovelware. Off-Road Extreme. I wonder if this is a sequel. Huh. I'll have to do some research because there was a Sega Saturn game that I love, and it's a PlayStation 1 game called Off-Road Extreme. I'll have to double check because I loved that series as a kid for some reason. Driver San Francisco. Yeah, so from time to time, I like to get a lot of Wii shovelware crap. So, yeah. All right, I've been holding on to these for a while. It's actually been a couple months. Uh, but I got the uh, Link's Awakening Amiibo. Um, pretty happy to add this to my collection. Um, I'm not going for a full, like, Amiibo collection or anything, but I get the ones that I absolutely want. I would like to have a snake one. At some point, and then here's Richter. Um, I would like to have the other Castlevania one too, uh, but yeah, kind of neat. Uh, some PS2 games Ghost Recon, Ooh. Guilty Gear X. I got this for dirt, dirt cheap. I remember, uh, Super Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Uh, an action replay. Why did I get this? The Naked Brothers banned the video game. Why? 
And then uh, Activision Anthology. I've been actually looking for this for a really good price. I found it at a thrift store for an excellent price. So, yeah, there's that. Some Wii U titles. And I'm debating on going for a full Wii U set. And it, it would be hard because a lot of collectors consider those, you know, the, the special edition boxes um, part of that set. And I would too. So I don't know. I might just go for like a standard, you know, not like special collector's editions or anything like that. Maybe we'll see. I'm about 150 or so, th you know, uh, titles in. Uh, here's Mario and Sonic uh, at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Ben 10 Omniverse. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. And I did not pay this ten this ten dollars for these. I actually got I uh, at the time it was buy two get one free. And these were like they were actually five. They were four ninety nine. So I got a pretty good deal on these. Uh, the Walking Dead. This game sucks, by the way. Uh, Marvel's Avengers. Uh, Injustice. Gods Among Us. It's it's all right. It's okay. City Underground. Under Undercover. Surprisingly, I didn't have this yet. Lego. Yoshi's Woolly World. Resident Evil Revelations. Haven't played it yet. Uh, Jurassic World, Lego. Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed. Um, I have this. I don't know what's doing in this pile. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, Monica. Uh, wow, I said Monic. It's Sonic and Mario. Uh, this is the Winter Games. Uh, Paper Mario Color Splash didn't have it in the collection, so why not? So those are some pretty substantial Wii U finds. Um, like I said, I have about 150. Um, will I get a full set? We'll see. I don't have a full GameCube set yet. Um, now, these are actually some bootleg and Famicom uh, games, if you will. Baseball, Famicom. Uh, these the rest of these are bootlegs. <laughs> Elevator action looks so cheap. Uh, TV game cartridge Zippy Race. Um, 111 and one, and I'm sure Donkey Kong 64 is on there. Um. Yeah, I haven't tried this one out. I need to try it out. I need to set it off to the side. Uh, Load Runner. And I like having oddities like this in my collection. And then Star Jester. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, some Xbox games. Uh, I actually just picked these up recently. Uh... Azuric. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Capcom Fighting Evolution. That was cool. I got it for dirt cheap. Uh, 360 game, Lord of the Rings, Lego. Chronicles of Riddick. This I've been actually kind of looking for for a while. And I got for three bucks. Uh, and it is, like, perfect. That is per like zero scratches, zero smudges, anything. It is in excellent condition. So I've been wanting that in the collection. Um, some PS4, PS3 games. Uh, Gundam Versus. I need to try it out. Um, Ghostbusters. Ugh. That game blows. Um, and then Transformers Devastation on the PS3. Um... From what I understand, this is actually a really fun title. Okay, uh, some older stuff. And I think the majority of these are boxes. I might have the majority of them. Before I do that, uh, I actually, when I went and raided 
family video, I asked if I could keep a couple of these cases. And the reason I did that, this is a remnant of a very older time. And it even has like, it shows you how to fit in Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo uh, cartridges, Sega Genesis, Electronic Arts cartridges, Nintendo 64 cartridges, and then CDs. So I knew I had to have this. Uh, I actually got a few of them. And it's what's even cooler is the Wii U. Um, I know it's just a little paper insert, but uh, that to me, you know, some local history for me um, at Family Video. Who knows how long Family Video will stick around in this town? Um, who knows? Uh, so some television games. I it's just a wide range of stuff tonight. Boxing, and I think these are just the boxes. I took the games out. Yeah, I took the games out because I already own them. And they're in kind of rough shape. Tennis. NHL hockey. And these are just some common ones. This one's in rough shape. Army battle. Utopia. This is a kind of a harder one to find. I think the game is in here. I don't know if I have Utopia. I'll have to double check. Um, it is in here. Sweet. Utopia. What does, what does that have to do with Utopia? I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, Mission X. This is a cool box and it's kind of beat up. NBA basketball, Las Vegas poker and blackjack. Now, um, almost done, actually. Um, this is a TI-99 game, Moon Mine. <laughs> I mean, I, guys, when I say I'm a collector, I'm a collector. I collect a little bit of everything. And it's the truth. It's the truth. Uh, so I got a bunch of boxes. These are just boxes. Uh, Clax, which is not too impressive, but I got it for dirt cheap. Um, the game sucks, by the way. I hate the game. This was really cool. This was actually a Facebook find. Um, Zelda, Link to the Past. Um, I, I own this game, love this game. Obviously, it's the Super Nintendo port to the Game Boy Advance. And uh, I, I just wanted the box. So I, I got this, and I'm getting rid of the game. These were awesome. All right, I've been holding on to these for a while. I just have not been able to get to them. And again, like I told you guys, I'm I'm going to be cleaning, organizing this game room. Um, it's been a while, and it's it's I had some extra time with, with COVID-19 and quarantine and all that stuff. So why not make good use of my time? Legend of Zelda, this box is minty, like really, really minty, like, oh my gosh. What's up, Tipsy Land? How you doing? Hope you're doing good. This was totally, totally killer, by the way. Final Fantasy, and again, really, really minty. If you guys know who I am and what I collect and what I love... These two, oh man, really, really awesome to add to the collection. I did not have them uh, complete in box. Now, this was kind of just given to me, and I don't own the game, and this box is not in good shape at all, but it's Bucky O'Hare, and there are some major, major issues here. Um, the box has been crushed. Um Yeah, um, the styrofoam's in there. So there's that, but I got that basically for free. Uh, Star Wars Arcade 32X. I hardly ever see 32X stuff, and this box is in really good shape. I think there's like a little hole here, but I don't care. 
32 X stuff is just so cool to me. Um, this is what this is probably my favorite 32 X game. Virtual racing. Oh man, I know you can play it on the Genesis. I know you can play it on the Saturn. I own all, and I even have it on the Nintendo Switch. By the way, they ported it to the Switch. Uh, yeah, yeah, Andy, I I could sell it. Yeah, you know. Uh, but this is my favorite uh, 32X game. I, I had to have it. Like, yeah. It's killer. Uh, but I have some more NES boxes. Um, Othello. And these boxes are, like, immaculate. They're, like, pristine, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, and these are boxes I didn't have in the collection. Uh, Dragon Warrior, believe it or not. Actually, no. I got a upgrade. My box was kind of trashed. Um, and this one was immaculate. This one is staying in the collection. So, yeah. Double Dragon. I did not have this box. And it's all complete in there. Um, did I take the game out? No, there's just all the literatures in there. So, yeah. I mean, these boxes are... I mean, there's a little crease. I mean, there's going to be some problems. But for the most part, these boxes are good, man. Fester's Quest. Um, I think this would upgrade as well. I think I owned it already. Um, but, man, this these boxes are just beautiful, man. Uh, anticipation. And is the game still in here? The game is in here. Why is the game in here? I don't know. Uh, this might be an actual uh, double. Yeah, uh, I agree with you on that. I love the box. Like, I'm more excited when I find boxes for NES games than anything. This might be a double. I'll have to double check my all my boxes I have because I left the game in it. That's probably why. I'll have to look. I'm looking over at my shelf right now. I don't see it. It might be buried. But it might be a double. Who knows? Um, all right. Some random crap here. Um, this is a Nintendo Classic gamepad. Wireless. You can also use it on the Wii and Wii U. I did not get it for that price, by the way. It was even cheaper than that. Um, a Wave Bird. And I did... Pay three dollars for it, and it did come with the receiver. Okay, so uh, and it works. I've tried it out. I just wanted to keep the um, tag on there to show you guys that I paid that much, and it is in decent shape. The D pad just needs to be cleaned, or the the thumbstick needs to be cleaned a little bit. This is a really good controller. I I recommend getting a Wave Bird. Um, some TI-99 games. So you got Star Trek, the arcade game. Um, this game sucks, by the way, but this packaging is just so bizarre to me. Um, and solid state cartridge. So, yeah, there, there's that. Um, it's just strange to me that it came packaged like that. Very, very plain, very, very, I don't know, not very appealing to me, but it was the 80s. Um, Pac-Man. This is an Atari software produced game, TI-99. TI-99 game, so a computer game. And look at this art, man. It looks weird. It looks gaudy. I mean, I know it was the 80s. Let's look at the game itself. And the games are bizarre and weird and like i said and i have a ti-99 um i collect a little bit of everything and you know when i see stuff like this i it's like duh i gotta have it if it's for a good price that is um and then some more arcade goodness um so this is kind of bizarre to me um you got TI-99. Okay, so that's Texas Instruments. Then you got Nintendo down here. Donkey Kong by Nintendo. And then Atari Soft. 
So, yeah. I don't know about this one. Um, on top of that, um, just some random boxes. These are TI-99 boxes. Um, application software. And they just came with that lot. Um, this one has a JC Penny sticker on it. So that's cool. I wish they would have kept the price on there. I, I would have liked to have seen how much um, they actually paid for this. Let's see if it actually has... No, it doesn't say what the game is. Uh, again, it's probably just a generic case. But, I, you know, again, I like weird stuff like this. I can't say it enough. Uh, some random hodgepodge stuff. Uh, speaking of TI 99, man, these are all tangled up. I'll just pull all this stuff together. I got some Wii nunchucks. Ooh. Red Wii controller. And then these are all tangled up. So uh, I got a T. I-99 Tandy joystick and another one. Um, I'm always on the lookout for these if they're cheap enough. And then I this is just tangled, a tangled up mess. And I don't want to spend time untangling it on live. Um, but this, I have not powered this thing up yet. I'm, I'm curious to see what it is. I have another one of these. And uh, it, it just plays... Uh, uh, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2. Um, so we'll see. Uh, the only reason I think this one's different is because the controller on this one is different. So I just need to put some new batteries in it and try it out. Yeah, the batteries are dead. Um, and see what's on it. And yeah, I mean, it's just your standard AV hookup. And then I'd have to find a 6 volt power supply or no i just use the batteries duh so yeah oh and then one more we nunchuck all right and then last pickup why is this over here this is not a pickup <laughs> no that i picked that up a while back and this is just a super nintendo mini it's just hanging out i think i was moving some stuff around over there um near my uh uh, uh, arcade machine. So I actually got this. This was a donation. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Lucas. Lucas. Team Lucas. That Lucas. And uh, he actually he was reorganizing his game room. And he messaged me and asked me, hey, do you want this Xbox original box? And um, I've been looking for one for a while, a really, really cheap one, a really, really inexpensive one. And uh, he takes care of his stuff. He takes care of his game collection. He has a pretty good collection. Um, not as insane as mine. I'm just going to say that. Mine's insane. And uh, Lucas, a uh, really, really kind-hearted guy mm -hmm. and, he just didn't have room for it on his shelf. And he's like, hey, you're the first person I thought of. And um, I might even have said I want an Xbox um, box at some point. Maybe he listened. I don't know. I mean, it's a little dusty, but hey, it's free. Thank you, Lucas, for that so much. And um, that's it. Um, that's kind of what I picked up in March. And also in February, maybe a little bit of January, not much in January. Uh, that's a crazy month for me. I, I barely, I do two things that month. Well, three things. Um, and I'm not able to get out on the weekends. I, I coach wrestling, I teach, and I sleep. <laughs> that's what I do in January. And, and maybe eat a little bit here and there. Um, but... Um, some decent finds. Um, I might even pick some of these Wii U games up over Christmas break. I don't remember. I've just been staring at this stuff for a while. 
Um, and as soon as I'm done going live, I'm going to uh, put these away, if you will. Um, and a few things here that I'm going to be working on uh, here in the future on the channel. I know I already gave like a channel update. You guys can check that out. Um, I'm going to do a game room tour. That's going to be big. Um, I'm going to, I haven't done that in three years or so uh, since I moved into this place and kind of got it up and running and up and working, if you will. Um, so I'll do a game room tour. That's going to be one of my main priorities over this remainder of being quarantined. Um, I also have a few reviews I want to do and some unboxings. So there's going to be some content. There'll be some content this week. Um, I'm going to spoil uh, it a little bit and tell you guys I'm going to review the entire Virtual Boy catalog and play through, um, not like complete or anything, but I'll play through um, the entire catalog and just kind of give my thoughts on those particular games. Uh, kind of like, I've been watching a lot of videos where they do like really quick like compilations um, and just kind of fly through a bunch of games and I'll just kind of do little mini, mini, mini reviews of all those games that I play. And I just thought the virtual boy would be fun. Virtual boy would be easy. There's not a ton of games and, uh, the virtual boy has always been something very curious to me, um, uh, why it existed. I understand why Nintendo tried to create it, but, but yeah. Um, also I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to try to get this out this week. We're going to see, um, I'd like to try to get at least two videos out a week. Uh, last week I was able to do that. Uh, this week I'm going to try as well. And I want to live stream some more as well. Um, I did a really long live stream of, um, it's a pinball arcade game on, uh, the PlayStation 4, and uh, it was almost two hours. I literally played every single pinball uh, machine that's emulated on that collection. And there's like 23 uh, pinball machines emulated there. Really, I had a real fun time with that, uh, so go enjoy that. I also did uh, Legend of Zelda. I uh, tiered and ranked the Zelda games. Go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, worst to best that's on the channel right now and then uh, this week i'm going to try to get out uh dragon ball z arcade games um and uh that's something i've been kind of toying around with so i'm going to try to get a virtual boy episode out and then also this dragon ball z arcade games we'll see um well i hope you enjoyed this random sporadic video live video um I was getting bored and I just started thinking about what I'm going to do tomorrow. And I was like, man, this stuff is laying down here and I was going to film a video, but instead of doing that, I just decided to go live, to just get it done. Um, and I don't do pickup videos as, as much as I used to. And uh, when I do, I'm going to spice it up more. This is more traditional, Tony. More traditional, here's the game. Here's the game. I understand that that might get a little boring and tiresome. Um, but uh, I might spice it up. I might actually play the games a little bit beforehand. Um, and, uh, yeah, edit a little bit more. We'll see. Um because in reality, if I were to edit this video, I'm we're running on about 40 minutes almost. This probably could have been, oh, a 20-minute, maybe even 15-minute video. But yeah, I'm trying to get better and more creative with, you know, these everyday videos that I do, if you will. So anyway, um, I'm done yammering. I hope you guys are staying safe with, with this whole quarantine stuff, and I hope... Uh, you're not being too affected by it. Um, if you are, I mean, I think everybody is. I, I mean, I, I can't think. I can't think. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of not ordering stuff right now. 
uh, from people just in general, unless I know them and they're very, very trustworthy. Uh, one site that I trust without a, without a doubt, uh, filthy game room. That's not a site. It's a Facebook page. Um, uh, I trust that. I also trust the majority of the people on the page. I run Missouri game chasers. Um, for the most part, I haven't really done any wheeling and dealing on there in a long time. Uh, I just kind of, kind of let people do their own stuff on there. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, stay safe. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, there's going to be more to come this week. Have a great rest of your night.